But did you, did you hear what I just said? Family. I don't yeah. think you heard what I said. I said when a single it's not when, an obligation. When, yeah, if if it's if a woman comes into a man's life and he has a child, that man mm. nine out of ten times isn't really going to care if that woman puts in financially to support that child. But if we reverse the roles, correct, put a, a, a single man with a single mother. That single mom is at some point, if they become serious, expecting that man yep. to handle some kind of financial burden. That's Big the true. difference. So men have Big way true. more to lose dealing with a single mom than a woman dealing with a single dad. Correct. Single dad isn't going to hold a woman to the same financial burden that a single mom is going to hold a man. That's why we tell guys it's not in your best interest to raise a child that isn't yours. I know you're saying, well, hey, well, you know, she ain't gonna, she might not even bring them around, whatever. But what we're saying is why even go down that road? B Big logic. Big true. And listen, you know, what's interesting about the discussion is that if you picked it up in the beginning, she said it's not an obligation. OK, no, it's not an obligation. It's an expectation. The same way that dudes are expected to be chivalrous or to pay on the first date. It's not an obligation, but because the expectation is so high, it will deter young ladies from showing that man respect if they don't see key characteristics or qualities, which is why it's so important to remind men that are going down that path if they don't have kids and she has a kid of what this is actually going to look like. Because although she's doing a good job of keeping that child somewhat distanced from you, the moment that you get more intertwined with her, there's going to be a large expectation there. This is why conversations like this is so important because on the other side of the internet, you're bigged up for being a single mother. But on this side of the internet, we hit men with the realities and the truths, which then take away power from these women that have decided to make these decisions in the past. And I think that the more that we talk about this, the more condoms or the less mistakes that will occur going into the future. So like, oh, I can't have sex without being emotionally tired. Dude, I can f you and literally not think about you the next day. Stop exactly. giving yourself that wait, much wait, credit. But no, 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 hold on, hold on, let go, let go. Why, why can you do that? Why? The same reason you guys can, because I'm exactly. not in tune with myself. Most, That's why. Most <laughs> women don't behave that way. So when, they, when a most woman, women, oh, let me finish. When a woman does, and she's a even though a man can and he's a it's different for you than it Why? is for it's me. Why? Because emotionally, Why? those women, we want a woman that can emotionally bond with us, not one that's been a who can't later on. So, okay. so, okay. so on. it's different. Let me, let, me, let me say this. They are more likely <laughs> to <laughs> leave you, hey. according to psychology to studies, that, a woman with Cheers more than ten bodies <laughs> yeah. has a higher <laughs> no, rate of divorce with a man, according to psychologist.com. You know, I believe Britney when she says that she can give up her innards to giant athletes and rappers and feel nothing afterwards. It's just so crazy to me because if she did not have this thought, Gene, if she was able to marry degrees of her femininity with what she looks like based on her aesthetics alone, let's, not, let's take femininity out of it, she would be the wife of a CEO sitting pretty without a feminine care in the world. But this is where Beyonce's advice from before doesn't help modern women today because living in her own life has embroiled into documented promiscuity and showing her hindquarters all across the internet which would then disqualify her from said ceo she is the definition of terrain wreck for all 25.1 women that listen to the content on this channel focus on the outcomes miss renner has successfully gained a reputation of being a 304 and is proud of it as per this video is a single mother living on $2,500 in child support has a tarnished reputation from publishing a book documenting her promiscuity and her entanglements but guess what she's living her life right and what's worse is that she'll have modern women all in her comments section when she releases the next psychological meltdown akin to a Nuclear Chernobyl disaster. Brittany, get some help. You haven't done nothing, baby you girl. Nothing. You done been listening to me. You, you haven't, haven't done nothing. nothing. That's the problem. You, you haven't, haven't done nothing. And so you running, you running hella hard in place. Stop being a half. I know that you be doing some GFE. Never. I know it. Yes, you Never. do. Yes, you Never. do. Yes, you do. And Never. I hate to have to put that on Never. you. GFE is girlfriend experience. So being a sugar baby, uh, being a prostitute, essentially exchanging time, attention, and most likely sex for money. Let's keep going.
Why? I that Why that on you? But I just, I just know I, it. I'm not. I wouldn't give my body up yep. for money unless I yep. genuinely like yep. a man. There's, and yep. you can, and if I genuinely like a man, it's not not about money at all. But I would never give my body Wait, up. Wait, go money. back to what you said. Repeat everything if you I just said. If I genuinely like a man, it's not about money mm. at all. At least yeah. that's but only for Like I said, I see yeah. men as a business. So if yeah. I if I see you and I think I could get you, even if I get a thousand, five hundred, two hundred, I'm give a. What it is? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get it. You should the take fuck? a kidney no, about him. No, you not. All right. No, you not. All right. You already let the taxi cab driver make you gullible to say he's gonna buy me a car. Mm -hmm. That's what you say. A f taxi cab driver told you that he's just gonna buy you a car. This man struggling in his stuck. mother self Uber, look, Lyft, all them been whooping him. He's still a lick. <laughs> Come on, Period. he has He's nothing. Man, man has <laughs> Wait, listen. What's hilarious is that what the gentleman just did. Often, what I'd see Kevin Samuel was doing. So Kevin would just listen, get all the information in, and then see if the previous actions that they admitted to match the words. What did he just say? You need to stop being a half-ass hoe. So she's talking about all this. I get the 500, 200, whatever, and then compared it to some story that she told about a taxi car driver trying to get a car up out of him. Pure brilliance. Let's keep going. There's nothing. <laughs> that man has nothing. He got what's credit. he going to buy you? He a Hyundai credit. Sonata? He got but credit. what's he going to buy you? He a Hyundai Sonata? For real? He got what's credit. he going to buy credit you? Power. His credit. Credit. But he can come take that back from you because that's still in his name. <laughs> yeah, See, we just, let me tell you something, homie. We did that game a long <laughs> time ago. <laughs> where this was going and get, listen, we did that game a long time ago. Where this was going, you know, having the tricks buying cars and like that. When the trick blew, the car blew. The car was gone. It was never really in your name. Yeah. You have to do it yourself. Right. See, that's the difference. You can sit it's, there and say that, but he attaches himself to it because you know what? He don't want you, you to go nowhere. Leverage. Yep. That's his way of putting his foot in the door. Instead of yep. you just getting the bread that's the and going, know what happens to the taxi driver? getting the bread and be finished. You. The bread and doing it yourself. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. Doing it yourself instead of relying on them. Mm-hmm. The gentleman on the left, I believe, is a former uh, PIMP. I don't want to say the full word because I might get demonetized. So he's trying to school her how to not be a half-ass hoe. <laughs> See how she responds. Y'all wonder what happened to the taxi cab driver? He did want to put it. I was trying to put it under my name. I'm like, you know, put it under my name. Just put the six bands down or whatever, whatever. He wanted to put it in his name. I was like, nah, I'm not with that. Because then so I wanted to work? attach to this. I wanted to get the car and dip, you know, and like, never <laughs> see him again. But so that, that thing didn't As work. As you do. <laughs> so well, well, okay, let me let me just ask oh, you this: right. It's like, if you meet a young woman who wants to make money off of her, hypothetically, you know, obviously we've never engaged. Young-minded or young woman? You know, like 20, 22, lot, what, 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 23, You know, she's in the yeah. prime of her life. She wants to monetize her body per se. What would you advise she she do? Since you seem to be holding her to such a standard, let you want her you to be like, hey, think long term. You can, no, you can get the game young if you can get the game young, like I did. If you can get the game young like I did, man, you you could be able to see this shit light years ahead. Don't wait until you're older to start making the move. Make the transitions now. It's not about cell phones and it's not about no cars. It's about making longevity shit. Nobody, nobody physically can be in this shit forever. Yeah. So if you're going to make the move, make the move. <laughs> when OnlyFans is done, Subway will be hiring. R.I.P. to K.S. These are the same strumpets that y'all be double tapping on Instagram to give them a like or leaving emojis down into their comment sections as if they give a about you. Meanwhile, they don't have a life plan after 28 and are 304 ing themselves for cell phones and cars, just like the man said. Women of the night who specialize in finessing men wouldn't exist without men. Strippers wouldn't exist without men. IG models wouldn't exist without men. Only fan models wouldn't exist without men. Even the young lady that was on this podcast wouldn't be able to talk her shit up there without the influence of men. So trick desperate men stand up the 304 economy as they respond to a woman's clear intention of extracting money from them. So unfollow, 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 and y'all better stop leaving all these likes and emojis and shit because you are setting the demand for an economy of women that you claim you don't even like. I'm getting sick and tired of you pranking me about this booger in my nose. I hate this type Excuse of Excuse me? That's an American Man, thing. I'm a, I'm a that tell is you. not a Trinidad a thing, tell you. and that is not my I'm type a, of humor. I don't know where you come from. Keep your hands to yourself. The environment I come from, we keep our hands to ourselves. Facts. So right. I can't do that? So, Check her. So what nope. I'm tell you is... Can't do that either. Stop. Oh, you she's crazy. Right? Keep your hands to yourself. Watch your tongue. 
Because I can literally pull over right now and you'll be taking an Uber for the rest of the ride. Yeah, you're set your boundaries. Hey. No, I'm going to give you a serious hit. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. Pull over. About to get off right here. Oh, there you go. Head. Yeah. Bilal, you, you have to be a madman to stop on the side of the road like this. Yeah, this is the highway. Just because I give you a little tap. Yeah. She's still doing it. You thought I was joking. She called him a madman because he's pulling over to the side of the road because he will not tolerate the disrespect. Meanwhile, she's a mad woman because she hit the brother not once, not twice, not three times, but four different times. And three times after he asked her, to stop. Shout out to this brother right here. You passed her shit test with absolute flying colors. Gents, understand this. Never allow a woman to put her hands on you. She's testing you on how far she can disrespect you. I don't care if it's playful in jest. I don't give a shit. Never allow it. You check her immediately. And at the point that you check her, if she chooses to continue to do it, then she doesn't respect you. And sometimes that level of the respect has nothing to do with you. She's just a disrespectful person. And maybe because she's got pretty privilege, right? That men have allowed her to get away with that disrespect previously. But you hold her accountable, you stick to your guns, and you follow through on your word. How dare you fold up your arms like a little pestilent child or a toddler for your bad behavior. Never let them shame you into allowing disrespect. Remember that. So what's out for dirt a deal? Empty y'all. Uh, Cut the new beers like we in charge. No cap with the rappers like steel bars. I'm packing and rapping like here we are. Here we are. Mediocre tutorial reviews. Like, comment, share my views. Come up and I paid my dues. Big step in my black waist shoes. Empty y'all. He break it down. Yeah, it's empty y'all. Check out the sound when it's empty y'all. No one put it down like it's empty y'all. Uh.